today on Growth Shares, let's analyze and see whether Intuit is a great long-term investment. Intuit Inc. is an American business that specializes in financial software. The company is headquartered in Mountain View, California. Intuit's products include the tax preparation application TurboTax, personal finance app Mint, the small business accounting program QuickBooks, credit monitoring service Credit Karma, and email marketing platform MailChimp. Intuit has lobbied extensively against the IRS providing taxpayers with free pre-filled forms, as is the norm in developed countries. I've divided this analysis into three major factors, business, investment, and valuation. Each factor is then divided into 14 smaller metrics. Each of the three factors and their 14 metrics are given different weight, together adding to 100% of the analysis. They'll be graded on a scale from 0 to 10, with 0 being the worst and 10 being the best. When the analysis is complete, I'll give a final score. My analysis takes a long-term view of the company, that means years. I've created a separate video describing the three factors and all 14 metrics in great detail so you'll have a better understanding of why they're important to the overall analysis. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description below to that video. Let's first look at the business. Everything starts with what the company actually does. It's more than just numbers on a spreadsheet. That's why 45% of the analysis depends on the business. Something that makes a billion dollars a year might sound nice, but how is it using its resources to make that billion? Fortunately, that can be quantified. There are eight metrics that I use to measure the business, and we'll dive into them right now. Intuit has a growth rate of 17.36%, giving us a score of 7. Intuit has margins of 41.2%, which means a score of 10. Intuit has operations of 31.7, which means a score of 0. Intuit has returns of 16.03%, giving us a score of 7. Intuit has utilization of 2, giving us a score of 7. Intuit has a 0.65% dividend, giving us a score of 3. Intuit has an ESG risk rating of 16.2, giving us a score of 7. Intuit has primary market dominance, which gives us a score of 9. When we add up all 8 business metrics together, we get a score of 5.72. Next, let's look at the investment. This factor looks at the company solely as an investment, as if rendering the company down to just ticker symbols on the screen. That's why 22% of the analysis depends on its investment score. How are others seeing the company from a trader and analyst point of view? What are the numbers telling us when it comes to this? There are five metrics that I use to measure the investments, and we'll dive into them right now. Intuit has a performance ratio of 3.2, which gives us a score of 9. Intuit has a range of negative 21.63%, which means a score of 0. Intuit has a short interest of 0.94%, which means a score of 8. Intuit has a buy recommendation of 41%, which means a score of 4. Intuit has an ownership of 86.2%, which means a score of 10. When we add up all 5 investment metrics together, we get a score of 6. Finally, let's look at the valuation. Valuation is simple. It takes everything we've talked about and puts into a single number, the price at which we would be willing to buy the company's stock. That's why 33% of the analysis depends on its fair value price. At what price is the company worth pursuing? There's only one metric that I use to measure the valuation, and we'll dive into it right now. Intuit has a fair value price of $278.51 per share, which I consider to be expensive, which means a score of zero. As a refresher, here are all 14 metric scores. Finally, we'll add the three factors together to get the final score. Based on my complete analysis of Intuit, I give a final score of 3.89, which makes it a below average long-term investment. So you've made it this far. Shoot me an email. I'd love to get in touch with you and talk more. If you want to see me analyze more companies, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with other investors. And as always, take care of your money.